Hi, my name is Dave Baker with New Leader Manufacturing. We're at Ohio Ag Equipment in Upper Sandusky, Ohio with this G5 machine. We're going to start our G5 Jump Start video series today. We'll start right away with our pressurized oiler. You need to have 75% diesel fuel, 25% new oil in it. We'll move right along to our, our 24 gallon hydraulic tank and our 80,000 BTU hydraulic cooler. It's thermostatically controlled at 120 degrees to click on for you to make sure we're not heating up that oil in the system. The new options on the tank actually are a filter restriction sensor, an optional tank heater you can get from your, your dealer, but the port is already in the tank, and a uh, fluid level sensor in the, inside the tank. We'll move right along to our new leader manifold. New liter manifold is going to house our PWMs for our left and right spinner speed, our servo valve. There's also a tension release for our hydraulic cylinders on our chain tension. There is pressure for our system, pressure for our conveyor, and sensors on both of those. So you'll see that inside the, the cab on the ISO control. Right ahead of that, underneath, is our cylinders for our chain tension. So when you fire up the hydraulics, the chain is going to be tensioned to a setting prior to having to get out and adjust it like before. We'll move along to our G5 manifold where we house all of our PWMs for our, our cylinders, which would be on our feed gates, on our left and right for our spinners, and our fore and aft for our spinner frame. All of that's housed right there and that's in that manifold. Pretty easy to get to. Um, pretty painless little system right there. After that, we'll move back. There's also a grease bank on the back. Now you only have two spots to grease this unit. We're asking that you do it once a week. You have a front grease bank, rear grease bank, and it actually has less grease circs than the G4 series spreaders. Up front, we have two grease circs for our front idler bearings. Right behind that, we have our automatic chain tensioning cylinders for our chain tension. When that hydraulic system powers up, it's going to automatically tension the chain for you. At the rear of the machine, we also have a sight window to make sure your chain is running tensioned properly. You do need a pen light probably, and it is a small hole on purpose so you don't get your finger caught in there. Uh, but yeah, that's at the rear of the machine right behind the rear grease bank. Hi, I'm Josh Moe with New Leader Manufacturing. I'm here with Dave Baker at Ohio Ag Equipment, continuing our G5 maintenance walk around. So on the back of the machine, you're gonna have our six to one dual pinion gearbox with our two conveyor motors. Um, on the bottom left here, you're gonna see one of the three hydraulic cylinders on the back of this machine. This one is going to run the left and right function for the G5 swath control. Um, the G5 swath control is gonna ride on a three inch stainless tube right here. It does not require grease. All it requires is some decent cleaning every once in a while. You don't have to lubricate this. As Dave mentioned, this machine has fewer grease and lubrication points than a standard G4 does. So that being said, all we ask is that every once in a while when you're doing your uh, machine maintenance that you clean this off, make sure there's no debris on it, okay? Um, above the gearbox, we have one of the two encoders on this machine. This machine being multiplier ready has an encoder here as well as on the other side. Um, over here in our, on our spinners, we do have, as Dave mentioned, individual PWM control for the spinners. So that means that each spinner is going to have a spinner RPM sensor underneath it. Starting at the top of the machine, you'll notice a hydraulic cylinder. This is going to be for a hydraulically controlled feed gate. From the cab of the machine, you'll be able to select the feed gate you want and it will automatically move for you to that preset amount. Um, below that on this machine, you'll see our improved waterfall divider that is used in the multiplier setup. Below that is the heart and soul of the G5 uh, setup right now. It's the vein assembly, uh, which we'll get into a little bit later. Below that is our standard material divider, which is removable. And then over to this side is our main conveyor encoder. And above that is the hydraulic motor that is going to run your multiplier. As part of your G5 maintenance, we recommend pulling out this vein assembly and inspecting it and cleaning it. Simply pull the pins, drop these two arms, pull the assembly out, 
and inspect it for any kind of caked on material, make sure that it's still functioning. And make sure it's clean and free of any obstructions. While you have the vein assembly out for cleaning, also make sure you clean the material divider and the back plate. Make sure they're free and clean of any kind of debris or caked on material. On the right side of the machine, you'll see our control valve that's going to run our multiplier insert. Um, if you had any additional control, any additional products, you would have control valves that stack right along there. This one does have a pressure sensor built into it. Below that, you have our ISO enclosure, which we remove that. You can see our ISO modules. So the more products you have, the more modules you're going to have. Uh, right here would be a hookup for uh, service to update any modules. And then to the side here is going to be a fuse box. This is going to control essentially everything on the NL5000. Below that, you have a really good view of the hydraulic conveyor tension. Once again, I'm Dave Baker. This is Josh Moe. We'd like to thank everybody for taking part in our G5 Jumpstart video series. If you have any further questions, contact your dealer and they can give you all the information you're going to need. We hope everybody has a safe and productive spreading season this fall. Thank you.